there's always a sale happening on Amazon here in Australia. But how much discount should you give when you are putting together your pricing strategy for that sale? In this video, I'm going to show you. Now, if you like this kind of information where I'm helping you make more money on Amazon here in Australia, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. That way, I'll know you want more money-making information just like this. Also, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. We post brand new money-making information just like this each and every day. And if you've got any questions for me or comments, post below and I'll answer them personally for you. With that being said, let's get into it. So Black Friday coming up, um, but Black Friday is only one of many, many such sales events coming up. And so the question always comes up, um, how much discount should you give when it comes to those sales times, Christmas sales, Black Friday sales, Prime sales, Singles Day, bloody, bloody, blah, whatever it may be. How much discount should you give at that point? So. Um, Here's my thinking about how I structure price discounting for those kind of things. So I think of it in terms of who is the customer? Who is the customer and what is the thing I'm trying to get them to do? Okay. And that dictates the pricing strategy that you put in place. Okay. So um, how I do it is if I am if I've got a email list of my customers or my potential customers, and I'm just looking to get them to move, get them to buy something of mine that they already know me for, um, they already know a product, and they may be just kind of, I don't know, sitting on the fence about that particular product, okay? Or... They've been to my shop on Shopify and um, they've added it to cart, but for whatever reason, they didn't check out. It's the same, they're the same people basically. So what is the discount for those people under those circumstances? The answer to that is 10, sorry, 20%, not 10, 20%. So if you have got an email list and you want to get people to try something and they already know you, then 20% um, is the right number to get them to try the thing. If you've got somebody who's um, been to your website and added something to the cart, meaning that they've been through the process, they've researched it, they know you, there's a relationship there, 20% is the number to use to get them to take that from cart and check out with it, okay? That's a really, really good starting point for you. Now, what if um, you want to get a somebody who's never, ever heard of you before, and what they're looking to do is, is they're just on Amazon, and um, you are looking to get a brand new customer that's never heard of you before, and you're getting that you're wanting to elicit a new behavior from them, like they get to test you out. What is the amount of money you need to give, or the discount you need to give to elicit that behavior? Because it's if if you think about it, it's a different sort of person, yeah. And the answer to that is forty percent. So forty percent will get that new person who's never heard of you before to come and try your product. And it's a big enough incentive where they are weighing things up in their mind. It's a big enough incentive where they'll come and try your thing out. Okay, because that's what you're trying to get to do. Hey, take a risk, risk reward. Here's your reward, 40%. Here's your risk. You don't know me from a bar of soap. It's a brand new thing, okay? So in that situation, 40% uh, is how much you should give for that situation. Uh, final situation that you'll encounter as well. And that is where, um, where people are comparing apples with apples. So if you've got a situation where um, you and a competitor are essentially competing for the same customer and 
your listings are kind of similar. The amount of reviews you've got are kind of similar. The price point is kind of similar. What is the discount you need to give to push that person over the edge and get them to buy from you instead of the competitor? Okay, so that's a different kind of situation, yeah? And the answer to that is 10%. That's all it takes. Once somebody has decided that they um, want the thing, what they're looking for then is the, a good price or just the best price on the thing, okay? Once they've decided, they're then, okay, I know I want this, I don't know, moisturizer, whatever it friggin' is, um, but now I'm just looking for the best price. 10% is all it takes to push them over the edge. Now, so how can we use that information? Well, pretty simple. So now we've got a situation. Let me go back over that, where we've got a brand charging $19.99. And so we want to steal the customer, what's on this page from this person. Let's just scroll down. We can put our ASIN targeted PPC, Amazon PPC campaign. And if you look at all these, which are all sponsored, ASIN sponsored, yeah? Same price, higher price, same price, same price, same price, higher price, higher price, okay? What you want to be in that situation is 10% less. And that will get you the click to come and check out your thing, okay? But all these are the same price. You know, there's no, they've already decided they want the thing. Oh, I already know I need some retinol and collagen moisturizer cream with hyaluronic acid, blah, 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 blah. Now I just want to get them over the edge to come and, come and kind of steal them. Or if they're comparing apples and apples, 10% is all it takes to do that, okay? So that's the three different pricing strategies that you'll undertake when it comes to discounts. And again, the, the, the kind of the big understanding, the big awareness of this is thinking about the unique situation that your customer is in and then thinking about um, what is relevant for that customer at that particular juncture in their buying cycle, okay? what's relevant for that particular thing. That was a video from my regular Monday night Q&A session with the members of the Aussie Online Entrepreneurs. There are over two and a half thousand members right here in Australia. We've also got members from other countries as well, but we're mostly in Australia. We've got sales of over $50 million on Amazon here in Australia and indeed right around the world. And if you'd like to find out more about joining us and getting all the benefits of being a member of the Aussie Online Entrepreneurs, get yourself off to www.aussie onlineentrepreneurs.com.au. That link is in the description and I will see you on the inside.